In this tutorial, we are going to build a very simple multiple PDF summarize application using Langchain, OpenAI, and Python, as well as Streamlit. So this application enables you to upload two or more PDF documents and is able to give you a summary of each of the document. Okay, so let's look at this demo. All right, so before we get into it, if you've not subscribed to my channel, do where well to hit the subscribe button. That really helps me a lot. All right, so this is how it works. When you click on the browse files, it enables you to select two or more PDF files within the folder and you click on open. All right, and you're gonna hit on generate summary. All right, so it's still running, let's wait for a few. All right, there you have it. All right, so these are the output of the two documents that are PDF files that I uploaded from the folder, okay? So you can upload two or more documents, PDF documents, right? Yeah, so these are samples of the document. So I'm gonna show you how this works. All right, so let's go into the code. All right, first things first, you import Launchain and if you don't have that installed, you pip install Lanchain and you pip install Streamlit. Pip install, yeah, basically you install these packages there and you import the load summarizer chain for the summary, create a summarization, and you import the PI PDF loader to load the PDF files and also import OpenAI, you import the Streamlet, the API keys, the OS, and you import the temp file. So this is gonna hold the um, files temporarily, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you why this was used there. All right, so the next thing is to set up the OpenAI API, set up the environment variable, and you put in the API key, in this case, that is going to be your API key. I have mine here, so we just um, just put it there. So I named it API key. So, yep, you put it there. And you're going to need the LLM. You call in the OpenAI, and the temperature will be set to zero. So it controls the randomness of the output. In my case, I did it zero. So you can change the randomness depending on your use cases, okay? And the next step, we, we build the PDF summarizer. So what we are going to do is a function and we are going to name it summarizer PDF from folder. So it is going to extract the, um, the text from the folder, the files from the folder, and it's going to load that into a temporary path, okay? So we create a summary, we create a list, and we are going to look through the um, PDF files within the folder. And we are going to say that we create a temporary um, file, all right? So in this case, we call it temp file dot name temporary file. And we are going to de delete is equal to false means that we want to keep it for now and we're going to name it as temp file and we're going to name a temporary path which is going to hold a temporary file okay and we're going to write the pdf files into the temporary file right that we we have we're going to read it as well the so next one is to load create a variable that's going to hold the um the temporary path of the loaded file. So we're going to load it and we are going to create a doc variable that's going to be the loader. And we are going to split the text within the files. Okay. So after that, after being loaded and splitting the text, 
The next step is to create a chain. So that's going to be the create a summary. So I'm going to do the load summarize chain. And within that, we are going to call in the LLM. In that case, that's going to be the open AI and the temperature set to um, zero. We're going to call that in here. Okay. And we're going to do the chain type to be go to map reduce. Okay. That's going to, that's what is going to be used to summarize the files. And now I'm going to create a variable called the summary. The summary is going to hold the, the document when the summary is created, right? So we are going to call the docs into the load summarization chain. So that's what's going to hold the summary. And we are going to append each of the summary into here. Okay, we're going to append everything into the summaries. So we're going to load it. And now we don't need the temporary path. We are going to delete that. We're going to delete that. So we use the os.remove to delete the temporary path. And now we are going to return the summaries. So the next step is to create the streamlit application. We're going to call the title, name the title, and we are going to do allow user to upload PDF files, right? So the PDF files, we call it the st.file uploader. We load the PDF files and we name it upload PDF files. So let me show you what I mean. So that's the name upload PDF files. And the next step is to the type of the PDF file. So if it is a PDF file, it's going to upload and we are going to accept multiple files and it's going to be true. Okay. And if the file is a PDF file, if PDF files exit, we are going to say generate summaries when it, when the generate summary button is clicked. So in this case, if the files, PDF files exit, we are going to say we are going to create generate summary button. So when you hit on the button, it's going to output the summaries. Okay. So I'm going to write summaries. And I'm going to say summaries is it going to go, it will be equal to the function here. Okay. Now we are going to call the function. Okay. We are going to call the function. So we're going to call the, the summary. PDF file from folder, and we're going to load the PDF files. Okay. And we're going to say for I summary, we are going to iterate through the summaries and we are going to write each of the summary for the PDF. All right. So let me show you what I mean. So we are just going to give it a name. So summary for PDF one, summary for P PDF two. So anytime the summary for the PDF is uploaded, we just add one to it, so it's just a count of it. So we have one and two, right? So if you have more, it's going to say maybe one to ten, or one to five, depending on the number of the PDF files. And it's just going to say SD dot right. It's going to ask, output the summary, right? Yeah. So there you have it. If you like this content, do well to subscribe, share. See you.